Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the films that I watched during the month of August. I was able to watch 31 films, so one each day. Um, August was a busy month for me, so it was hard for me to watch more than one um, with work and with um, some TV shows I was trying to get caught up on. But um, if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to be looking at my Letterboxd account and you can um, follow along with what I watched and see what my... Um, my score was for each one of these but first up i watched the worst person in the world this is from the criterion collection um i had i wanted to watch this um during the criterion month which was in july but i did not get around to watching it but i did um watch it on august 1st i really enjoyed the film i thought it was very well done i enjoyed the story um the um, atmosphere of the film the main character was pretty interesting, so if you have not seen The Worst Person in the World, I would definitely recommend you check that out. Next up, another Criterion film that I watched is Fantastic Mr. Fox. Um, I had never seen this one. It's a Wes Anderson film with stop motion animation, I believe. Um, but I did have this one in the collection, so I opened it up and watched it. I wasn't, um, I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to enjoy it. It seemed kind of um, slow and at times a little boring. So, um, but I would still recommend you check it out, especially if you love animation and stop motion animation. Okay, the next um, film that I watched is another Criterion. So I did have a lot of Criterions at the beginning of the month that I was trying to get caught up on. Okay, next up, I watched Grey Gardens. So I did continue on with my Criterion um, movies at the beginning of the month, trying to catch up on some that I wanted to see. Um, so I did watch Grey Gardens, which was a great documentary about the Bills. Um, from the 1970s, uh, mother and daughter, very um, quirky type situation. Um, the daughter was, well, the mother and the daughter both were very interesting characters, plus the people that were involved in this documentary. Um, so I really enjoyed it. So the next day I actually watched The Bills of Grey Gardens, which was a bonus feature, which is another full length film about these, this mother and the daughter. Um, it showed some of the documentary that was not included. Well, it showed the documentary portions that were not included in the original. So it was a full length um, documentary also. I really enjoyed it. And then after I watched this one on the next day, I actually watched um, Drew Barrymore in the 2009 um, movie Grey Gardens, which I thought was a really good performance. Um, so anyway, three days worth of the bills was very interesting. I enjoyed every bit of it. I highly recommend you check those out if you've never seen them. Okay, the next up, um, I went to the theater on August the 6th and saw Bullet Train. Really enjoyed it. I thought it was nonstop um, entertainment for me. I really enjoyed everything from the start to the finish. Um, I enjoy that type of action films, um, the comedy and everything involved in that. It was just really, really good. Um, definitely looking forward to checking out Bullet Train again when it comes on physical media. Okay, next up, I watched this film called The Capture. Um, I had never seen this one. I had had it in the collection for a few months. Um, Tim Talks Talkies had recommended that I would uh, had show this and I um, had recommended that I pick it up. So I did, I picked it up, I finally watched it. I really enjoyed the story. It is a old um, film. As you can tell, it is in black and white from 1950. Um, but very interesting story. If you like this type of film, definitely check that out. Okay, next up, I watched The Truman Show. Um, my sons have been asking me to check this movie out. For whatever reason, I never did get around to watching The Truman Show out of all these years since it's been um, out. Um, it came out in 1998, which has been a very long time. And so I finally took time to watch The Truman Show. I did not have it on physical media, so I did stream that off of, I forget what, um, maybe HBO Max, Netflix, or Amazon Prime. But anyway, I really enjoy The Truman Show. I am hoping to pick that up on physical media here someday. Okay, on August the 9th, I watched Men. Um, this is an A24 film. I was really looking forward to watching this because it says it's a thrilling horror masterpiece. But And plus it's from um, the writer and director of Ex Machina and Annihilation, which I enjoyed both of those. But this right here was kind of weird. It started out pretty interesting. I thought it was going to be pretty um, um, suspenseful. 
but toward the second half of the film it kind of got weird and um but overall i'm glad i checked it out it's going to stay in the collection because i do collect all the a24s okay next up um i watched event horizon this was definitely a first time watch for me i had never seen this um and I did get the 25th anniversary edition. I loved this film. I thought it was very well done. Um, very interesting. Um, suspenseful. I would definitely compare this to Aliens. Um, yeah, I think I would compare it to Aliens. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. If you've never seen Event Horizon, definitely check that out. Okay, the next film that I watched is another A24 film called The Humans. Um, this right here was definitely a slow-paced film. Um, it's based off of a play. Um, it takes place around Thanksgiving, I do believe, around the holidays. And um, it was very, like I said, very slow-paced, but I'm glad to have it in the collection. Okay, next up I watched Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I did not get to see this one in the theater. I did enjoy the, um, the first one. When it came out during the pandemic, I did watch this on streaming and really enjoyed the first one. This one right here was a good follow-up to the story. Um, I don't think I enjoyed it as much as I did the first one, but this is definitely worth having in the collection. Okay, next up, I watched Child's Play on 4K. Um, this came in, so I did take time to watch Child's Play. It had been many years since I had seen Child's Play, and I wanted to check out the 4K presentation. I thought it was very well done. I really enjoyed the story. Um, I pretty much remembered everything about the movie, um, but it was still good to rewatch it. I still need to watch the second one and the third one, so hopefully I'll get to do that maybe during the month of September or even closer to Halloween. Okay, next up, I watched The House That Jack Built. So this was watched on August 14th. I had never seen this one. This is another one that I had been wanting to see. It's been in my watch pile for a while. Um, really interesting story with Matt Dillon. Um, as far as... I thought he his performance was excellent. As far as the story goes, it was a little slower than I wanted. But... I enjoyed everything about the film up until the very last 20 minutes probably. I did not like the way that it ended. It was very strange. Don't really know if I fully understood what was happening at the very end of this film. But overall, I did enjoy it. I did watch the director's cut, which may, may, may have made a difference. I'm not sure what the different cuts were showing. Okay, next up, the next um, film that I watched is Cape Fear. Um, I have not seen this one since I saw it in the theater when it, back when it was released. Um, it had been a long time since I had seen it. I wanted to see it again. This is from 1991. I really do enjoy um, Jessica Lange. I thought she had a great performance. And um, Nick Nolte, of course, and Robert De Niro were great. Um, it was very long. It's a lot longer than I remember it being. But story-wise, I thought it was really good. I need to check out the original. Um, hopefully, I'll get to do that here soon. Okay, the next film that I watched was They Went this, they went That Away and This Away. Um, this right here is from 1978, I believe. I have not seen this film since I saw it as a kid. Um, I was nine years old when this came out. I definitely remember seeing this one at the drive-in with my mom and dad my brothers. Um... I remember liking it, but as I rewatched it here during the month of August, um, I did not really enjoy the rewatch. It did not hold up for me. I guess as a kid, it probably didn't matter much. I was probably just excited to go see a movie. Um, but anyways, glad to have it in the collection. I do really enjoy Tim Conway, so I thought he did really good. It was it was humorous, but not as funny as I remember it being. Okay, the next film that I watched, of course, is another A24 film, and it is called After Yang. I really did enjoy this one. This had a very interesting story. It, um, I don't know, I don't know if it reminds me of Ex Machina or not, but anyways, it, it, it was a different story. I did not know anything about this film when I watched it, um, but I did enjoy this. Um, definitely check out this film if you haven't seen it. I would definitely recommend it. Okay, next up I watched Dog Soldiers in 4K. I had never seen Dog Soldiers before, 
So I got the 4K release, watched it, enjoyed it. I thought it was very well done. I think the 4K presentation was excellent. Um, so very happy to have this um, upgraded to 4K. Okay, next up I watched End of Watch. This right here was another one that was sitting in my watch pile that I had never seen. Really loved this film. I, one of my favorites, probably from the month. Um, of course, it has Jake, Gyllen, um, Jake Gyllenhaal in it and Michael Pena. And uh, I just enjoy their dynamic together. Um, it's been out for a very long time, so I don't know if everybody's seen this or not, but definitely check it out if you have not. Okay, next up, I watched Widows on 4K. Another one that was in my watch pile. Um, this one, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I did enjoy the story. It is a heist film with a twist. So um, if you've never seen Widows, definitely check this one out. Great performances. Okay, next up is another one from my watch pile and it's called 50-50. Um, I wanted something that was going to be more of a comedy, I guess. And it has Joseph Gordon-Levitt in it and um, Reth, um, Seth Rogen in it. Um, I'm sure everybody's probably seen this one. This was my first time watching this. I was expecting a different ending from what I had heard from different people. Um, but I did enjoy the story. I thought it was very, um, very good and very interesting. Okay, next up, I watched Breaking In. Um, this right here is a home invasion film, and Mika over at Double Horror Pack on Instagram um, was doing a home invasion month. So I did want to at least watch one home invasion movie. I do love home invasion films. I wish I could have watched more. Um, but I did enjoy this one. This was a first time watch. So um, if you've never seen this one, I think it was really well done. Okay, next up is another one from the watch pile from a previous month or so. Um, Ambulance. This right here is another Jake Gyllenhaal film. It is a Michael Bay film that was probably really... Um, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect going into this one. I do not try to watch... I do not... I do not try to watch trailers before I watch films. Um, so I really didn't know what to expect. It was a totally different story than I expected, but I did enjoy it. Just a little bit too long for me, but I enjoyed the action scenes and the story was just okay. Okay, another one from my watch pile is Crazy Rich Asians. I had heard so many great things about this film. Um, never took the time to watch it, so I finally did. I really enjoyed it. It's a nice little romantic comedy with a twist. Um, so, Crazy Rich Asians. Okay, I decided another one that has been sitting by my TV for a while in my watch pile is this a24 film Charles Swan the third or a glimpse inside the mind of Charles Swan the third this right here was probably the worst film that I have seen in a very long time um, it's going to stay in the collection because it's part of the a24 film line and I am trying to you know I'm trying to keep that um, a24 films up to where I'm complete with the blu-ray releases but anyway this was terrible I did not enjoy it I do not recommend it but it has um, Charlie Sheen in it and Bill Murray. If you want to check it out, definitely check it out with caution. Okay, next up, I watched What's Eating Gilbert Grape. This right here was just the second time I had ever seen this film. I loved this. This is another one of my favorites from the month. If you've never seen this film, definitely check it out. I think that Johnny Depp and um, Leonardo DiCaprio had great performances especially Leonardo DiCaprio. I thought he did excellent. It's amazing that he didn't win any awards for that. He should have. Okay, next up, I watched Breakdown. I had never seen this film before. This was the first time watch. Really loved the story. Um, I've heard a lot of people recommend this one. I finally took the time to watch it, and I definitely loved it. So check it out if you've never seen it. Okay, next up, I watched um, The Iron Giant. This was just my second time watching this one. I watched this one on a Sunday. Um, didn't really have much going on. It had been a long time since I watched it. I wanted to kind of revisit it. This was only my second time watching this. I love the animation. It just looked great. The story was interesting. Um, it was a short watch, so it was very easy to watch. So if you've never seen The Iron Giant, definitely check out The Iron Giant. Okay, another um, film that I picked up during the month of August from eBay is this one called The Endless. Um, I heard um, Bob's Blu-ray and I think maybe Tim Talks Talkies 
mentioning this if I'm not mistaken so I ordered it because of the slip um, but I really enjoyed the story I thought it was really um, well done very interesting it is um, like it says it's like nothing the cinematic world has ever seen it is kind of horror sci-fi it is definitely a low budget film but very watchable so if you've never seen this one check it out Okay, another one from the watch pile. I don't know why I'm watching so many horror titles during the month of August. I should save some of these for October, but I did watch The Orphanage. Um, this had been in my watch pile for a very long time. If you've never seen this film, definitely do yourself a favor and watch it. Very good um, ghost story. I really enjoy the paranormal type films. Um, can't say enough about this one. Of course, you do have to read subtitles for it. But definitely check out The Orphanage. Okay, lastly, what I watched was Summer Heat. This had just came in from um, Kino Lorber. It stars Anthony Edwards from Top Gun and ER. And it has Laurie Singer in it. I did not enjoy this film. This, Like I said, this is the last one that I watched during the month of August. I wished I would have left with a high note. But this right here, um, I did not enjoy. Um, so... Watch it with caution if you're interested. Some people probably like it. I just didn't care much for it. But those are all the films that I watched during the month of August. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've seen any of these films and what you think about them. And maybe give me some recommendations of films that I should watch during the month of September. I really honestly love reading your recommendations. And that's really what I tried to watch when you recommend a film. I do try to watch those films during the month. So definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think I should watch. But if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.